Hey everybody, uh, I think we got a little something going on with this Walmart closing their stores in different states from Florida across all the way to California. So before I give my opinion and ideas on what may be behind it all, let's see what the media is regurgitating to the public. Remember the media is all owned by basically probably about five large corporations so they can only tell what they're allowed to and scripted to say this is from my state here in Oklahoma and this is what the reporters here in Tulsa where a store is due to shut has already shut down and we'll let you listen to what that is saying so we'll give it a listen Hi, I'm Rod Walton, business editor with the Tulsa World. I'm here with Robert Evett, who is the uh, real estate writer with the Tulsa World and also covers some retail for us. Uh, we have a story in today's paper about Walmart over at Avril Memorial closing down for at least six months for plumbing issues. Uh, we also, but we found out, uh, according to Robert's reporting, that there's a little more to it than that. So, Robert, can you tell us what's going on with Walmart? Uh, yeah, we got a tip from readers in the comments, and I did some digging around, and there are four other Walmarts that uh, are shutting down. Uh, all of them have plumbing issues, and all of them will be shut down for six months. Uh, they're at Brandon, Florida, Pico Rivera, California, Midland, Texas, and Livingston, Texas. And uh, Walmart said pretty much the same thing on, uh, on all of them, gave them the exact same statements and everything. So it happened on the same day. Uh, employees were given hours notice. It was just very sudden. So this was all across the country from Florida to California, and you're saying that basically they released the same statement in announcing this? Oh, yes, and you know, they all had two years' worth of plumbing problems, which is an interesting coincidence. Uh, was there anything that separated these? Were there any, as you researched all these various uh, closings, was there any uh, defining factors that separated them out? Uh, really, I can't find any common factors between the uh, the five stores. Uh, I mean, this the Admiral location, we had recently done a report that there had been more shoplifting there, but I talked to a couple of PIOs at the uh, at the other areas, and they said they hadn't had any problems. Well, let's expand on that a little bit. This particular Walmart in Tulsa has been known previous stories for a big-time sort of larceny problem. There was actually a lot of police focus on that. There have been shootings out there. Uh, what about some of these other? Were there any other extenuating factors with these others? Uh, well, the only big incident I could find was at the uh, Pico Rivera Walmarts, uh, where in November there had been 23 arrests for uh, labor protests, uh, people calling for a Walmart to, uh, to pay more raises, uh, pay more uh, wages. But uh, really, that's all I could find. We should note that Walmart just announced recently that it has raised its minimum wage uh, up to nine dollars for the for the lowest workers there those paid workers there here in Oklahoma. Uh, but also we got we got a closing of a Walmart here in Tulsa, and it looks like four others nationwide at least. Right. That's and uh, I, I talked to a plumber at uh, York Plumbing that they do commercial work, and he says that this is a, a, a strange move. He said that conceivably there could be some problems under the slab that they would have to dig up, but uh, he said told me that uh, six months sounded like a excessively long time for that kind of thing. So it's... It's a strange situation all around. Walmart workers gather after the sudden closure of a store in Pico Rivera. The retail giant says it needs to fix plumbing problems, but some employees suspect the reason is more personal. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom reports. These Walmart employees who learned days ago their Pico Rivera store is closing lined up outside a Rosemead Hotel and were called in one by one by managers to talk about their jobs. I have nothing but faith that we're going to get transferred into different stores. But other employees told us they are worried. This week, Walmart abruptly closed not only its Pico Rivera store, but also four others in Texas, Oklahoma, and Florida, saying they're dealing with extensive and costly plumbing problems. A spokesperson tells us the 530 workers here will get their pay for 60 days with opportunities to transfer or to reapply for their original jobs when this store reopens in six months. Some workers say the store has been a hotbed for higher wage and better benefits demonstrations and believe they were targeted. They think they got rid of the problem, but no. You know, we're still going to fight for what we believe in. Many workers told us there were clear plumbing problems here. 
But others question if a shutdown was necessary to fix them or a way to bring back workers at lower wages and to avoid upcoming raises. How is it that they shut down the store two months before that race is supposed to go in? Pico Rivera's city manager says the city itself was blindsided by the move and did not receive any permit requests, which is unusual. Stalkers at the Walmart say they may have been given abrupt notice, but they had seen warning signs for days. There's no shipments coming in, and we're all kind of like skeptical about like what's going on. There was originally a demonstration planned for today, but organizers say employers wanted to instead focus on talking with company leaders. Now they say they're planning a rally for outside this store on Monday. Reporting from Pico Rivera, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News. Well, it appears to be the same standard garbage regurgitated out to the mass. As you can read in the article, it's over 2,000 people will be affected by it, the workers. Now, it should be a dead tip-off to everyone. That a huge conglomerate like Walmart with billions upon billions upon billions of dollars. There's something wrong with the picture, folks, if you only give your people a couple of hours notice. That's not the way companies run. You know, if you have a supposed plumbing issue, you get it fixed. You deal with it. And as you heard in the prior video, the plumbing contractor just stated, any plumbing contractor will, will tell you, it doesn't matter if they have to rip the whole bathroom completely out, sinks, toilets, jackhammer all the floor out, jackhammer it all out through the parking lot, all the way to the sewer main tie-in. That's not going to take six months. That's going to take much less time. You can build, there's no doubt you can build a whole super center Walmart store in six months, the whole store. If you, if you do it in spring and summer and you, you just get in a little rain once in a while, as long as you're not trying to do it in winter when it's snowing and all that junk. So this doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right. It doesn't fit. And there's something else going on with this. It just is. Um, they claim they don't know the full extent of the work that needs to be done. And as you've heard, there's, there's been no uh, anything taken out at the city offices, permits or anything, to begin the work yet that we, that we know of. And this article from the Tulsa paper was even briefer, you know, just a few sentences even, besides this little video. So it all seems to coincide to me with uh, the Jade Helm operation coming up. You've got so many things running together, like pieces of a puzzle. And you have to remember that uh, Walmart actually is. And there was a little speech video made a while back by Napolitano. And She's telling you that they, they partnered up with, of all entities, a government entity, the Department of Homeland Security. You know, and you would ask yourself, what does a giant uh, consumer goods store like Walmart have to offer the government and the Department of Homeland Security? So some of the workers, is like the lady that we listen to, you know, they have it maybe that it's because of the raising the wage out there in a couple of months that they shut it down to avoid those employees working at the stores to be paid at a higher wage. But that doesn't fly because you've got a gazillion more Walmarts all through the country that are still staying open. 
you know, and those employees are going to get their wages. So just shutting down five stores be a drop in the bucket for Walmart, and that doesn't fly. It doesn't fit. It doesn't work. So we are going to have this six months. Six months from now, we'll put you into October. By October, we will have had last of the four blood moon warnings from God. We'll also have ended the Shemitah year and began the Jubilee year. So everything is, is running together, and I believe that um, Walmart is not telling the truth with their press release as to why these stores have actually been designated to be shut down for a half a year. So you need to start thinking out of the box again and look at the big picture for what the big picture is going to end up showing you. People that live in those towns need to be watching Walmart, you know, taking an interest in it. Instead of watching American Idol and eating pizza and sitting in front of the TV. You know, if you could if you could get some actual employees to to tell you if there actually was plumbing problems, you know, what What actually was it? You know, was you having some sewer backup and stuff? You know, houses have that, you know, so it's not like a, a something you have to shut everything down for. You deal with it as the problems occur. You know, something breaks, you call the repair people. So you got a plumbing issue, you call a plumber. You don't shut things down for a half a year. So could it be that they're going to remove some merchandise and make room in there to store some supplies for the participants of the Jade Helms, maybe? Even though some of those states are not where Jade Helms is supposed to be taking place in. Or could it be something different? Because if they're shut down for six months, the produce and the frozen goods and stuff, They're surely not going to keep it in the freezers for six months, you know. <clears throat> Although you never know, they might. They sell out of good, out of date goods. I bought them there before and not noticed till I got home. But I just think this has got more going than what they're talking about. You. you you don't wait until just two hours. So this was some type of a sudden decision that's been made in a time frame that's been put out of six months. So there's, a, there's a decision that was being mulled. They came to a consensus on what the decision was. They enacted it with no notice to the employees. So that is sudden. That is not businesslike. That is not professional. That is not the way things work in, in big business. It does not work that way. It does not fit that way. So we need to understand this and, and be aware there's something going on. And it could be something with the actual country could be some type of a natural disaster that they anticipate that may begin within that time frame. And remember, Walmart did uh, do a little something in practicing like uh, for an event along the New Madrid fault line. So that is eventually going to happen. It just will, whether it's man-made that makes it happen. It won't really matter when it happens because we will be affected. When the ground breaks open and you're separated by water, everything is changed for good. So pray to God and ask him to help us all because our futures rest in his hands here and in heaven.